Hi, my name is Andy, and in today's video we're going to upgrade the ignition system on my 1966 Mustang to an electronic system. We're going to get rid of the points by installing uh, Pertronics electronic ignition. This is incredibly easy to install. Uh, it's two wires and a screw to put in place. Um, we'll get the old adjustable point system out of there. Any of, the, any of you who are familiar with having to adjust the points throughout the year, um, that's no longer an issue. Uh, it's almost set it and forget it. It's that easy. Uh, so let's get started and see how we do. Like most electrical projects, when you're going to work on the car, it's always a good idea to get the negative terminal taken off before you get started. Alright, this is going to be really easy. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the cap off and get in there and start removing the components that we no longer need. Uh, the first thing we can do is take this off the coil. Set that aside. Yeah, it looks pretty good in there. It's not worn out, so that's good. Pull this off, and then we can start getting in here and get this stuff taken out. We're going to take off these two screws and this screw. We're going to want to leave this wire. This is the ground wire. We're going to reuse that but the rest of this stuff will come out. We'll hold on to it because we can always fall back on using it later if we need to, uh, but for now we'll just take it out of the distributor. Don't drop anything. We'll hold on to this whole system here, because um, again, we can use it if we need to, but for now we can take the rest of this off the car. We'll want to keep this ground wire in place because we're going to reuse that. We're also going to want to clean this surface off because we're going to rely on this ground to continue to do its part. So this is the ground terminal on the coil. We're going to go ahead and remove this ground wire that was part of the point system. And we're going to reuse this terminal, but now we're going to also use the positive terminal on this coil as well before we're done. Alright, in the electronic ignition box you get the new electronic ignition uh, and it comes with the terminals on the end. We may have to cut these wires short. Uh, we'll see how that comes out though. And you get the magnet sleeve. It's got magnets in here that will talk to this new sensor instead of having that point system. It also comes with additional hardware in case, in case you need it. This uh, little plastic piece in here is the, this is the gauge for setting the distance uh, between here and the magnet sleeve, and we'll do that here in just a minute in the car. We're going to put this little button on here. It's going to fit down inside where that screw hole is, and then this is going to be underneath this ground wire. And we want to set it up so that it can pivot on that little button um, inside there. Um, there. See how it kind of it'll pivot back and forth in there, and. Uh, because I have a vacuum type of advance in here, I don't want to get this arm in the way of this. That's why it's notched out. So, just sit right inside there. We'll put the screw in there, and then these fit down inside just like that. I'm using the supplied screw that came with the system instead of what was in here before. Want to tighten all the way down, we just want it so that it can there go move, and then we're going to put the magnet sleeve on. Now, there's no particular way this goes, these little four little cutouts on here are meant to fit on these high points on here, so you just kind of just find a spot, push it down, 
all the way. And then we need to put the spacer in. Okay. So this goes in here. We're just gonna push it up until that sits in place. forget to put this back on again it'll only go in one way makes it super easy all right in the interest of just keeping this simple I'm not going to shorten these at this time I can come back and do that afterwards but I want to make sure everything works so we did this terminal this is the negative terminal it's also marked here on the coil but the nice thing is uh, since you have to do both of them we only had to take the one wire off originally so I know that this one needs to go here because we didn't touch the other side of the coil yet wire goes on the other side. All right, for now that'll work. Let's get it hooked up. I don't like how these are long, but we can come back and shorten those up. I want to make sure that everything works first. All right, so now we can put the cap back on. The nice thing, and it's got a notch in here, so it only goes one way. Makes it easy. Hook up that. Now we just gotta hook up the ground wire to the battery. All right, the last part here. Hooking up the ground wire. All right. Uh, I think everything's hooked up right. Um, it's on camera in case I uh, case the car blows up. So let's see what happens. All right, that's a win. Um, I still need to go back and clean up these wires, just trim those up a little bit, they don't need to be that long. Um, but other than that, uh, it's working. In fact, it started right up, which is great. I was hoping I wouldn't have to fight this thing firing up um, on camera here. So good, uh, that was an easy one. Pretty pretty simple to put that in. Um, and now you, I won't have to worry about adjusting the points ever again. So uh, perfect, uh, put it in the wind column. All right, thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in the next one. with a special gauge piece to help adjust the, um, the spacing between the... Well, I'm going to butcher that. Um, what's that called? <laughs> Come on. This should be this hard. Well, we didn't blow anything up. Nothing caught on fire. That's good. Now I don't have to worry about the... Um, what's this called? <laughs> Electronic ignition. Ah! <laughs> I need to trim up these wires because I don't need that getting caught in the fan, but that'd be bad news. Woo! Yeah, I want that. Alright, here's just a real quick follow up. Uh, I got the wires trimmed down, ran it into some, uh, some grommet there, and just kind of tucked it around the underside so the wires weren't in front. Nothing big, but just tried to clean it up a little bit just to, just to get it so it's not so obvious those wires are hanging out.